So today I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. So I'm in my work clothes now, ready to paint. Got my specs on so I can see what I'm doing. I have to wear these all the time now, so you'll be seeing these a lot. So here it is, here is the before. As you can see, it's a nice plain, just white bedside table. Open the drawers for you so you can have a look in, just really plain. Um, this is gonna go in Jamie's room, so I wanted to spice it up a little bit, um, make a bit of a pop of color in his room. He's got a white bed and I'm gonna paint the walls gray, so I thought, why not use the rest of my Hague Blue from the bathroom? So here goes. I just wanted to say that I haven't obviously used primer on this because it's already been painted before but if you were to buy something like this and honestly you will see so many of them in charity shops and they're about Fiverr or eBay or anything like that sometimes on like a local selling site you can pick them up and people are kind of giving them away really and you can make them look really really funky but if you get one and it's pine it's got kind of like sheeny texture to it you know feel not texture feel to it then what you need to do is put a primer on it or what is really good is the Annie Sloan chalk paints you can paint that onto any surface and it kind of gives it like a rough kind of prime for you to then paint over and you can once again use the Annie Sloan paints to paint on but then you do need to wax it what I have is a silk finish um, and I've actually had it mixed up with the Valspar it's that it's a Farron Ball color which is um, Hague blue I like that color and I've had it mixed up in Valspar just so I can get the sheen on it so it gives it so you know when the little boys touch it they don't leave all their sticky fingerprints. I'm going to show you how I'm making my handles so Jamie loves dinosaurs he loves them so much so what I thought I'd do I bought some of these from the pound shop they were three for a pound so the handles in total cost me a pound and if you can see I don't know if you can see but there's like a join kind of there on the dinosaur so what I'm doing is that's where I'm cutting it in half and I, I'm not going to waste the back half because I am going to do something with that so you'll watch out for another vlog but I'm going to use the front half as my pulley handle so I'm going to show you how I do this and then I'm going to be spray painting it in a gold up now I've got this guy so they're all different this guy and this guy and now I'm gonna spray paint them Right, so that's the first coat done. Obviously, it doesn't look very good because it's quite streaky as the white's coming through. But once the second coat's on, it looks so much different. I obviously won't feel myself um, painting the second coat because you know what to do. It's very straightforward and simple. I'll just show you the end result. I've also just spray painted the other side of the animals. And I'm about to go and do another sort of second coat just to make sure it's got everywhere. So it's all looking really good. And I'll show you the end result in a minute. What I would say is when it comes to your second coat, try and kind of go all the same direction with your strokes, especially on the top where everyone can see that, because I think it just gives it a better finish. Um, I am only doing two coats on this, but obviously if you're painting a dark colour to a light colour, you might want to do three. Just see how it is and then you'll know if it needs another one or not. <laughs> My little dinosaur heads, all golded up. So they're looking really good, I'm really pleased with them. So they're gonna be stuck on like that. What I've got to do with that is my No More Nails. This is brilliant, this is kind of actually like a Wilkinson's own version of it. 
so it's about a pound of tube, really good value and it is so so strong. You can either use this or super glue, totally up to you. This has taken me, well, I had to wait a lot for paint to dry, so obviously it's taken me longer, but the actual working hours, it's probably been an hour. Um, I really, really am pleased with the finished result. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my vlog. Please subscribe below for more videos like this, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.